It is irreversible, and no amount of force can dampen nor quench the ingenuity and the resilience of the indomitable Biafran spirit. lovers of freedom men and women of goodwill conscious people wherever you are all over the world it's yet another day and i say good morning good afternoon good evening and to some of you good night depending on your times this is still radio biafra extra and we are streaming live through biafra human right and freedom radio station Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is generally referred to as a child of circumstance. Not everybody will understand, but it's just a matter of time. Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station is powered by the de facto customary government of Biafra, and of course it is being anchored by Diokpa Uchi Uka for Mefo, who hails from Abatete, Abatete in Anambra State, Anambra State, Biafra land. Diokpa Uchuka for Mefo is the man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. I do not expect everyone to understand the mindset behind those words, but one day you share. By the special grace of the Almighty Creator, I remain George Unibi, and I come from Agbo. Agbo is in Anyoma province, and Anyoma province is in Delta State. And every piece of land in Delta State is Biafra land. I want to use this opportunity to begin to acknowledge, first of all, the father of the new nation, Chief Rafael Owazurike. You have reason why you should back down, even collect your amnesty and walk away. But you stood your ground for your people. I admire men who make sacrifice even without visible or tangible evidence 
that they were doing the right thing. But in their heart of heart, they let feet pass everything. I acknowledge you tonight, Chief Rafael Wazuriki. You have done your best. And we appreciate you. I could only wonder what gives you the muscle, the courage to pick up this agitation after Dim Chukwe Meka or Dim Chukwe departure. All the people ranting and shouting up and down, deceiving their fathers and their mother. They were where were they? Anywhere I will stop them. Acknowledge the the fatal customary government. Of course, so much is depending on you. The de facto customary government is headed by Alahajasa Repo and deputized by Adarita and Ebogo. And of course, you have Uche Nasibu in charge of Homeland's Affair. You have Diokba uh, Uchuka in charge of information and communication. And it is a privilege, I don't like to see it that I happen to be the Secretary General. But then how can I proceed without acknowledging people like Edaunyale, people like Ugono, people like Dr. Okado, people like Obidio Bienu, people like Ike Nangwano Nenyi, and of course, numerous pro Biafran group who understand our position as a people in a time like this, and they decide to take the bull by the horn. Acknowledge all of you, Dr. Ngo Kenkwo, Zurumba, acknowledge all of you, and I can say you are all doing well. I specifically bring my greetings tonight to the Biafra Nation Alliance, Ezekwisele, Mbadike, our daddy in the Lord, Agungwanye, Ada Biafra, Unyeka, Bruno, Awili, Odu Guinea, Ukuyonwoka, Udu Wili, Ukum Ukum Mazepolo Kinkwo, Awuzurumba, all the administrators worldwide, acknowledge all of you tonight. I would not forget to acknowledge the indigenous people of Nandekano. Of course, they are my platform. They are so determined to bend everybody to their will. They are so determined to save the next generation. And somewhere along the line, they think that they have to bamboozle you. Let's disgrace them. Let's mess them up. Let's frustrate them. But the point is that there is no shame in the womb that gives birth to us. How do you think? How possibly can you make that possible? Now the colonel was here disorganizing everybody. The moment they, they, he arrested himself, he's now telling Allah Ijimako to tell you to do in unity. I can see the unity of Now the colonel on my platform. It's unfortunate. Your numbers are few and it is gradually dwindling. I will encourage the indigenous people of Onandekano, you need more weight to pull. When I sit back and I see some things, I weep for our people. But I know you will come in terms with time. I weep for our people. These are people who want to pioneer a nation. A nation the world can be proud of. A nation the world will beckon on. A nation that we intend to make one among all nations. You do not have what it takes to be truthful. You do not have what it takes to walk by the path of integrity, honesty, sincerity. Look at grown up men. Our courtroom now is on Facebook. Go and ask Aloy Jimako and Barrister Ujofo. All this is our effort to collect the remaining money outside the Nandekano. Of course, the Nandekano has initiated this program. We will get there. So all of you can be deceiving yourself. You think you are deceiving us. We will look into different issues this evening anyway. And so indigenous people of Nandekano, your lot is to curse. Begin to curse. 
begin to curse, curse your mother, curse your father, curse everybody. But nobody will be allowed to say the next generation. How which all of you will understand what that means? And this having been said, I have to acknowledge the Creator. Chukwo ni de ma, chukwo ni de ma, izuru kemeo, chimo ni de ma, uli lanya denso, chimo ni de ma, izuru kemeo. Ise, ise, ise. Uh, we are men of prayer and we give our heart to prayer. God understands. And this having been said this evening, as always, we move to our topic, which is simply titled The Interim Parliament of the Government of Biafra, a tools of governance that must be deployed if we truly want to go home. Each time I come on air, I talk about the customary government of Biafra. I specifically talked about or focus on two departments. And that is the implementation committee and as well as the advisory body. But of course, over the years, efforts have been made or rather over the days, efforts have been made to make sure that Every tools we need to manage, to project, to sell at Biafra is put in place. And of course, numerous pro Biafran groups on the 13th day of March 2021 came up with that desire. And of course, as we speak, progress is being made. The committee who is responsible for implementation and as well as the advisory body on Saturday the 26th of June 2021 in pursuit to establish a de facto statue of the government of Biafra. There are so much going on regarding the interim parliamentarians who are scattered across the globe from across the indigenous people of Biafra and all of you must stand strong and defend the Biafra nation in the loud outpost. It is unfortunate that most of our people do not understand what is going on and with pain we will continue to point you, point out the direction for all of you to follow. We are not in a hurry but our voice must be heard. This message must be driven home. Mazi Mefo will always say, till we drive home this Biafra, all Biafra restoration project to it conclude position. And so tonight, since 1960 to this very day, there have always been a public outcry. Public outcry from the Nigerian state and constant yearning for secession, which has always fallen on the deaf ear, most especially the people of Biafra. The question should be, if, for instance, since 1960, the people of Biafra has been yearning, we have to call off this country. There have been public outcry. 1999 constitution is fraudulent. There have been people requesting for constitutional amendment. Others has called for restructure. The supposed dead Biafran War of 1960-1970 was actually as a simple call for restructure. All these things fall on deaf ear. Tonight, let me remind you, there are three categories of people that rule this world. One are the gatekeepers. There are the Biafran gatekeepers. Some of them are doing the job. They don't even know who they are. And as such, the spiritual endowment, the power that they need from heaven to do their job, 
is not functional in their life. You have the categories of the timekeeper. Where are the timekeeper? Most of them have been compromised. Too weak to do their job. They don't even recognize the spiritual implication. And then finally, you have the initiators. These three categories of people coexist. Any nation who have been able to discover this group of people, there is no limit to the level of the achievement. These are the things we lack in Biafra land. These are the things we lack as a people. And then we just live our life anyhow. In most cases, our intention is to deceive others. But eventually, we are the one deceiving ourselves. And that is why Jesus say many will think they are deceiving others. But in the end, they are the one deceiving themselves. If you want to embrace the truth as a people of Biafra, when you are open to this truth, it will first of all reveal to you how insincere you have been. It will reveal to you how unfaithful you have been to yourself. And if you holistically accept it, most especially when you know you have gone astray, you see, that power that shapes people's way, that power that shapes destiny, that power that created the universe will work in your favor. I do not expect you to understand those spiritual terms, but I just say, get hold of these two words. Let it become part of your beating heart. And one day, you will know where you truly belong. Are you part of the initiators? Are you supposed to be among the creed of timekeeper? Or are you supposed to be a gatekeeper for Biafra? I may have to digress a lot this evening to be able to drive my point home. But I know that as many that are called by the spirit of the almighty creator, they will understand. And those who are still deceiving themselves, who do not want to give up to the truth, let them continue. A lot has been said already, and a lot has been done. But still, there is no hard way in this issue. The issue of Biafra. We have been talking about it talking about it dr kado made it clear yesterday we have talked too much and now is the time for action who are those to initiate the action we have talked too much but something is wrong somewhere let me digress a little bit i listened to the speech coming from world congress And I have listened to what Professor Jofo have to say. I will not apologize to you. I am gradually losing my confidence on World Ibu Congress. But does it matter to you? It does not. But when Professor Jofo tenure is over and having deceived the next generation, another will come. I am an Igbo man. I am not recognized by these bodies. And so what they do shouldn't be of any concern to me. But in the end, you will see that it is of concern for me. But for the sake of those who think they own it, you people must be very careful. Everybody already knows the truth. And should I say all of you are dancing naked in the marketplace? And your enemy are enjoying the dance, the show of shame. When will World Igbo Congress know the truth and go and join Biafra de facto customary government and do the right thing? Every group, social cultural organization, progressive unions, from every nook and cranny of Biafra land, go and look for the facto customary government and see how you can make your positive impact and stop selling the next generation. We will review those statement in tomorrow's broadcast because there will be continuation for this program he told you i use this opportunity to break protocol i have to speak Igbo. okay you are what Igbo congress it's okay i now call on ududuwa i now call on the metal betans and so what of the jaws 
what of the awosas you didn't call them let's agree fulani is there that is you are missing the target already but what the Bo congress has any middle bed called on Igbo people to rise? Let us defend ourselves from Nigeria. As Odudu ever called on Igbo, arise the same way you people are begging them to come and help you. Now, this is what they think. They think Igbo man want to use them. You are not going anywhere. Yes, we want to talk about the killing in in in, in Nigeria. Uh, 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 we have to stop the killing. That is why I'm making this broadcast. Uh, then we have to talk about and the kind of extradition. Who is deceiving who here? I am happy that in my only two way, with what I have at my disposal, I have ended the cost of and the Kano more than any of you. I swear to God who made the heaven and the earth. More than any of you. I'm not saying that I have given more money. No. I'm not saying that I have risked my life more than any of you. No. But the way to evaluate the sacrifice you have made is to look at what you have, your enablement, while you sacrifice what you sacrifice. Have you not heard about widow's might? We have not to offer and but yet we offered everything but when and now the canoe become the problem of our people we have to make it clear for four years we talk sense into this criminal he refused what the book congress has soiled their name in numerous ways and they still continue to do they are saying nigeria yeah they are, they, are, they are killing us we have to stop the killing what about the one and now the canoe and china sanguru killed are we going to talk about Mustafa? The, sh should we begin to mention name? Of course, we will mention name at the right time. What about the 10 guests supposedly that were used for fortification? What Igbo Congress? Are you holding Nigeria responsible for that? You people should go back in shame. All these are the handwork of Unandekano. We became his hand to enter where he cannot enter. We become his eyes to see through those atmosphere he cannot see. We wear his foot to go to any journey for the sake of our people. You people are there toiling with our life, all of you. From a joy youth to all of you, you are toiling with our life. You people are not ready. The whole war Igbo Congress here. Yeah. Yoruba, please uh, come up. Let us rise up and defend ourselves. Ordinary full and in less than six percent. So you people should be ashamed at times. You should be ashamed. Middle betters, uh, please uh, let's fight Nigeria. Who is this Nigeria? Is just full and in six percent. Full and in six or three percent. Look at how they reduced all of us. And uh, with all your professor, with all your magnitude, with all these things we claim that we are, we can't even sit down and reason and reason and get our ourselves out of this mess. Oh, what the book Congress has spoken. Release the Nandekano now, and we bring her. Then the other baboos are monkey, according to Nandekano. They are protesting. Hey, we, we are protesting. We hammer the gate of Kenya. Hey, we, Kenya is problem. Kenya is now your problem. Hey, we are protesting. Our rally across the globe is making, is gathering momentum. And I got that momentum. I know Pama everywhere. It's, it's unfortunate. I do not see why people should be intellectually dishonest. Very wicked to your people. This thing will end. For your information. But it better end the way all of us can control it. Because you don't even know, have idea what is happening or what is going to come. That is the, 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 the this. But that time when the colonel was doing unknown government, we, I remember over a year ago, even right there on Radio Biafra, I keep telling you people, every instrument that will give us Biafra, and the colonel is deliberately destroying them. Today, is it not evidence? 
when he was arrested in 2015 were they not killing us did they not shoot us at on a head bridge did they not kill some in abba did they not kill in abo did they not kill in Mpo? did they not Are we not killed in Bayasa? But did we stop? Did we stop? Now, the common man truth already. Nobody can learn that image. If you know you are a gatekeeper, go to your If you know you are a timekeeper, go to your duty post. And if you know you are the initiator, you do your job. We are the ungifted. We will monitor all of you. Nobody will say the next generation of Biafra. I said tomorrow, by the grace of God, we will review the, that very statement. You are giving Nigeria that, please get them. But the world already know. Do you know how they view you? And I say, oh, they want to kill him and the colonel. There is a desperate uh, attempt, but the world know they would have killed him and the colonel. Throw his dead body away, like he does to his followers. Nobody will talk about them. China Sangwell recently published. These are the people missing in Nigerian custody. We KK 600. America 4 kill 1 million. Okay, say, Pazo KK 600. Only owner. What of the one on our kill? And what do both Congress know all these things? If you don't know, why don't you go and ask question? And the people who know the truth are just looking at all of you. And gradually they lose hope. Confidence in you. If you are worthy, bow giant today, are you people going to remain there forever? Are you creating platform for the next generation to be able to climb up with dignity, with respect, with regard, with the hope and the mindset to serve their people with all they have? That is why the failure of Nigeria, there will be no remedy. The Bible says, He that is often rebuked without remedy, his destruction, his will come without remedy they continually tell you and all of you are still playing game you can't see this is not about one man you can't see this matter is bigger than newspaper page but it's going to shock all of you when it all began but we continue to stress on the point so you know the truth because this is the same way we, we are stressing the truth about what is happening in IPOB the level of karate assassinator promoted by Nandekano. All of you, uh, uh, yeah, Sabotan, we know you see money. Uh, he's a, this one. Holy, holy, holy Nandekano. How many weeks? It's not online. All of them have done broadcast. All of them. We will come to that later on. Let's continue. And so a lot has been said already and a lot has been done already. But still, there is no headway. This is because we have spent so much time analyzing our condition and indeed doing less to implement it. Why are we not implementing it? Because there is no government in place. We have not been able to talk to any international community organization regarding our plight as a people. But they are observing us. The reason is why? Why? Is UN this demonic? If Nigeria is giving UN, for instance, one million naira, don't you know UN understand that from that oil you proceed, if we, we can give them two million naira and still be better than we are here in Nigeria? But there are a lot of things that are not in place. So please call them, make do better and come and help Igbo people. Uh, please uh, do the one nation, come and help Igbo people. You don't catch Mugu, right? But you don't have the problem. All you people are doing is fighting for political relevance. Gain. Gain. And of course, like I was saying, the customary default to government of Nigeria, I mean, Afra rather, they have to be a place of governance. That is why that the fatal government has to come up. This issue was in the table of Nandekano more than four years. He will not share the power. He will not share the exploit. Where are the exploit of war? They will not share it. And all the people who made the move, 
You people don't reason or you don't ask question. Where is Bia Foundation? Will you go, Mary? Where are all those initiatives? If you cannot have absolute control, it destroys you. Finally, the Biafra de facto customary government is here. And for us to be able to make headway before the global community, there must be internal governance as well as external governance. I try to use certain terms to enable everybody to understand what you are saying. When we talk about eternal governance, we have people who are in charge of political affairs. As far as our region is concerned, you have the governors, you have the senators, you have the lawmakers, you have the representatives, you have the councillors, you have the chairman. You have the three arms of government, all of them working for the overall interest of our people, people within our region. Where are they? What, where, what position are they in this issue? Imanka, Imanka. There is need for all of us to work in synergy. Right from onset, I have always asked them questions. How exactly are we going to pull through this thing without working with our politicians? What we are asking for is our right, recognized by the United Nations. And our modus operandi is within the rule of law. We have nothing to fear for, nothing to run for. But how come we came up one day and then on the can say oh, our politicians are sabotoir, they are all criminals, they are all this one, but they control the gateway you won't pass after all the gra gra after all the blackmailing after all the ranting after all the uh, everything we are doing the people in charge of the gateway say you will not pass and now you understand we talk of internal governance we undermine ourselves the, the area i view the broadcast of a uh, 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 what you congress it's not because he says something wrong Nigerian has lost the jurisdiction to look into Nandekano case. But then Nandekano has crossed his boundary for using Igbo guests to do ritual for fortification or the issue of unknown government and ESM. And others. But the area I want you to look at, you are not paying attention. You are not begging Yoruba. Yoruba, let us rise up. Oh. Hey, well, I will say, let us rise up. But you are looking at your politicians as responsible. Is that not stupidness? Is that not foolishness? They are the gatekeeper of Biafra land. You say they are criminal. You say that you may be the timekeeper, but they are the gatekeeper. And you can be both. Are you the initiator? Don't you know there are people that make things happen? There are things that bombard at night. And there are people who respond to them. In the absence of light, darkness will prevail. Or don't you know? Now, it how it function a little bit. The North have 19 states for themselves. The Middle Belt have 11 states for themselves. The West have 8 states to themselves. And then, I, I looked into Biafra. All things being equal, the Biafra region is supposed to have nothing less than 18 state to themselves. You know what political advantage that is? So internally, we don't have government. This government don't even know their job. I listened to the comment of Joe Ibukwe the other day. He was asking, uh, please, oh, uh, they have to, my own is that give Ibo one more state. And so I pinched myself. I said, these people really know what the solution to this problem is, and they are keeping quiet. Even though his request is selfish, I said it's selfish because even though they divide Igbo state into 30, then the Fulani would have increased, magnify the number of states within their region. After all, they deceive you by the fraudulent uh, 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 census. Geographically, they deceive all of us. Now, let's come back and look at it. We have five regions in Nigeria. 
the northern region, the middle belt region, the eastern region, the midwestern region, and then the western region. Five of them. The northern region has 19 states, like I said. The middle belt have 11 states. The west have 8 states. The eastern region have been divided into 9 states. Nine, only 9. Then the midwestern state is 2. In the southeast, you have 5 states. River, Akwaibon, Bayasa. Four states. Forgot about Edu and Delta. Four states. Four states from the eastern eastern region. Southeast as they call it today. That is nine. But the Midwestern region is still part of the ancient Biafra. And so, if politically, those who are gatekeepers were strategically fighting for economic emancipation, economic empowerment of Biafran people, that they even know what is going on, they will be the one fighting for Bender State, Midwestern State, to be divided into nine states. If by the virtue of those political analysis, if by the virtue of those political scientists, who could see if they truly can see, and fight for Midwestern state to be divided into nine states. Today, it is easy for us to collaborate than begging Medobet, than begging Yoruba. And then let's assume they give us nine states. And the former Eastern region have nine states. Nine plus nine, is it not 18? But tonight, may I tell you that for Bender state to remain two, only two states, Midwestern state, to remain only two. If I tell you people responsible, you will cry. And so every day you analyze. Well, yes, we can't pull it in the floor of the National Assembly. And yes, it's not possible. You know how some have 20 this thing. They concocted everything. But these are not things we talk here online. Those of you who are political scientists, where are your brains? You now see that sometimes it is not the number. Sometime, because the number will come to nothing when they force you into a narrow corridor. Your number will come to nothing. Fulani with the least number of ethnic nationalities supposedly in Nigeria. They have narrowed all of us into a tiny corridor and our number comes for nothing. And so we need to establish, first of all, internal government. Internal government. What is happening or affecting us today is still affecting them. The difference between them is that they can afford to manage the suffering. And we are not. Then we we'll consider the aspect of external government. That is when the de facto customary government comes in. Which, pro which progressive organization, union, from within Biafra region that is working hard to develop their region. Which one? For more than 15 years. Uh, and they say, say live on the canal, or we divide Nigeria. Uh, what the Bo Congress say, live on the canal, and we even one, one, an inch of progress we have not made. The real thing we're supposed to do, we have done them. External government. Without this external government, how can United Nations listen to you? Exactly, how will they listen to you? A region without a boundary, without a map? If we call the component member that make up Biafra and say, let's talk about our boundary. You don't know your, your size of airspace. You don't know your size of uh, 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 land mass. You don't know the, where your boundary is. It's not visible. It's not visible. Because Nigerians did their job well. Go and ask Oba Sanjay when he was doing a, a structural adjustment a boundary program. They did their job well. And to correct that mess alone. 
If we are not on the same page, even in a hundred years, we won't be able to correct that. And so when we talk about the de facto customary government, people think it's about to come and do show business. You carry sword. Tomorrow you condemn church. Next tomorrow you carry Bible. Imara na mbamba cross abura mbamba kukwe. Unu chena madu bwe u. Mbamba cross abura mbamba kukwe. So if you like carry big Bible. Elohim has said. Elohim has said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are deceiving yourself not people like us. And under our watch you people can say. Be doing show business. We are Mosachi, Versace, Moschino. Christian Joe. We all of them. Come on demo. Demo subscribe to my YouTube. Ndiyo hi. Aye. And so we need a government. Because each time we come, we say, go and support the de facto customary government. People don't know what is coming. If it is shout, you want to shout, we have plenty of time to do that. But then, what it says is sacrifice when it comes to nothing. In the end. Number two. They have to be needed to reconverge, to weigh the options in different issues. There is need for Biafrans to reconverge so that we weigh the option in different issues. Who, who, who will do that? Yes, I want to see my client in Nandekano. He is well and doing great. He said I should tell Biafrans to unite. Uh, unity is the key. They have to unite. Now, now I won't unite. I thought Anyoma is Anyoma nonsense. Nonsense Anyoma. All of you are happy. You are, you are enjoying it. If a mouth, if you know the can no mouth, now WC, my own pit toilet. But because you have the power to beat somebody, doesn't give you the right. You cross your boundary. The same people helping you. The same people supporting you. You rubbish everybody. You are telling us unity. Unity in the era. You can be doing what you are doing. You think you are deceiving them. Everybody know the truth already. We are our own case. They complicated. They say now people will not like us. Write our history. And if this be the truth. Why can't we weigh the options from among ourselves? Who will do this? It is the de facto customary government. I went for consultation today and the people gathered. I will not mention the location and I told them this is the reason why I'm here. They said, who sent you? With great anticipation, Displeasure written all over their face. I said, "Is Asare Dokobo, who is the leader of that group?" Because they were asking me, "Is it in the canon? Who? Who is the leader of that group?" Because now they know that there are so many pro Biafran group. I said, "Biafra de facto customary government is chaired by Asare Dokobo," and I saw that they calmed down. They are not Igbo speaking Biafra. And I was shocked myself. Because the, the way they feel about the whole thing was not the way they feel in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2019. That is not the way they feel even early last year. And then the head uh, said, uh, well, we have heard what you said. But with what is going on with Biafra agitation, uh, we will not be fast to respond to you people. We are going to have meeting on Sunday. And then after the meeting, we will decide what to do. Because this Biafra self, we know they see the head. We know they see the tail. That is the level of damage Nanda cannot have done. And maybe if I have said I'm IPOP, maybe they would have stoned me. But you are not seeing it. You are on Facebook. Hey, we are protesting. We are rallying. We are this thing. This thing is not the way you are thinking about it too. One said to me, 
you will go to hell. And I said to him, I've been there. We've been there. The external government has a lot of things to do. It's need for us to reconverge and weigh issue and weigh issue. Review issue. There are a lot of issues you are shying away from. It must be discussed. Or else you drink poison for nothing. If I didn't tell you now, will you know that I went for consultation more than three states away from where I live? Would you know that? Did you give me money? But people paid the bill. It's unfortunate. We need to ask ourselves, what do we truly want? What do we want? Is it Biafra? Is it restructure? Is it constitutional amendment? We don't even know. Because everybody is on different page. Before you ask Nigerians to consult a plebiscite or referendum, don't you know there is need for us to carry out such activity within from among ourselves? That question must be answered. What do we truly want? What are we afraid of? As component member, and what is the way forward? What is the way forward? Your voice may be louder today, but I don't think it will remain that way. Not until we bring our voice together and speak with one voice. Each individual's voice will dull down on daily basis. All these options must be weighed. Third, we have to establish diplomatic ties and relationship. Diplomatic ties and relationship. Who is doing that? Now, Kenya is your, is your problem. Hey, well, Kenya, oh, we no go agree. Oh, we no go agree. Kenya must oh, go. We no go agree. Kenya is your problem. But we have not analyzing and the can arrest. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know. Just all of you deceive yourself. Prophet and prophetess. All of you analyze. You think you are deceiving us? Collect the negotiation money so that we know where we are starting from. You think we don't know what is going on? Collect the amnesty. But our people brain, only God will help them. Now the colonel was in Kuje. Queen of England visited him in Kuje prison. They gave him all you were. He rejected it. Is it not 27 all you were? He rejected it. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, now the colonel, Nigeria told him, now the colonel, we will remove Osi Banjo and make you vice president. Forget about Biafra. Holy now the colonel rejected it. I reject it. No, give me Biafra or I die. What a marvelous God. He moved on. Nigerian calling, now the colonel, now we are going to give you five Igbo states. Go, and then he don't fight for Biafra. Now the colonel say, no, all of us must go. Including a new man nonsense. And I know how that in the premier, but it's not personal. If I don't have the privilege to express myself, would I be doing that? And others are carrying this grudge in their heart for a very long time. But someone is going to say, the one way full I need to do you, you know, if I do you, go to my village where I come from. Since 1984 to today, no fool I need enter there. Then, then, Yamanina has on the era. He who do, he do, he. Makani, yame, yame, yame. But let's leave that. All of a sudden, they are promising in the canoe, please oh, take uh, 15 billion US dollars and leave with Biafra alone. Now the canoe reject it. But he's dying on top of monthly due. Biafra company of the canoe and his family, they are dying about money, money, money. Which day was it the canoe arrested? After his arrest, if he knew something, he came online, he said so many things, and people will not understand. But we do. We do. If they follow them to blackmail me, 
even when she knows most of the truth. And so if you cannot stand for the truth, my dear, I don't value you. I don't. There is one principle I saw in Mazi for, and it made me cherish that man. There are many, but tonight let me show you two. One is that his slightest touch command obedience. I remember when the issue was going on everywhere. Along the line, he was confused. He said, but Mazi I don't understand all these things. Now, let me tell you something. If, if I notice you are responsible for all these things, I am telling you, I, I will have to fall out with you. And that is because China, sir, all of them are lying front and back everywhere. And he followed all of us up. He saw what he didn't anticipate about, what he didn't ask for, what he did not expect. He saw it. But what are we not saying here? If you know this truth, Josephine Erewa know this truth. Bright team is here, use all their head. Now they cannot ask Igbo people, pull back, let us use data people to finish George Onibi. And data people vindicated me. Where is freedom fight and you he? Nothing to talk again. They all know the truth. Immediately if they finish, the ton of money they want to siphon, legal bill, legal bill, Darlington couldn't manage it. He couldn't bear it. Darlington responded. And their friends began to see the truth. Hello, Ejimako, jumping up and down. In my guy. Or Setiana. Or Setiana. But I think they, they, they are having some issue now. And now, there is a broker I saw online now. He is uh, Kanon Takano, the vice president of Biafra. You know, Nande Kano is the president of Biafra for life. His junior brother, Kanon Takano, is the vice president. That one is in charge of finance for life. Then they are pro prophet, master prophet, in law. That one is in charge of Arubotarian and Oshokotarian for life. It's our own beer from our own property. Just listening to them, how they're analyzing our country. Supposedly. It's a shame. All this is because there is no external government in place. Now the Kano want to be governor. He want to be the fato government. He want to be everything. And he has his family guiding everything. But confession has not started though. Because you people will touch. Let's listen to that audio. For record purposes anyway. In radio he should be given a slot to broadcast in radio gas. And some, some of them who are supposed to be in the position to carry out an instruction given to them, they went and they went They went at it. First of all, he was talking about Simeon Ipa. Simeon Ipa was hired by Nandekan. Along the line, they brought him in. His own is to change IPOB from a pressure group to political machinery. There was a time I wanted to fall out on Simeon. And I noticed that Enande Kano was the brain behind it. That delayed him. Simeon, do your job. Collect your money. Nothing do you. He chop money. Carry go. He knew he was hired to do a job. That is why he defied all of you in Finland. He disgraced all of you. But do you have the guts to see that something is wrong and pronounce that thing as evil? We never want talk of him. We never reach. But he's coming to defend their recruit. 
was saying that some money but is taken over the leadership of Ivy Cloak. That was not information. That information is, is incorrect. And these people who are supposed to be in the position are going around gossiping. Somebody will be jumping from one office to another. If your if your position or your office is to take care of the people, go and take care of the people. Don't leave the people to go and do security work. Don't leave the people. If your position is to take care of people, go and take care of people. They choose words that deceives you. Chris Erkan is in charge of welfare. When Mazo Bidi was expelled. Because he was in charge of welfare. But Nenanya is the one collecting the money. And the victim never received anything. Tomorrow he said Bidi chop welfare money. Chris Erkan, a but woman is in charge of welfare. Chris Erkan, they allow you whole money. Chris Erkan. You people don't know the system you sitting on. We built it. If you know the canal, I sack everybody, employed everybody. Second, come and tell us now how many times have you people quarreled with the Naya over account issue? But you will keep quiet, woman of God. And if we said train over there, but you don't want to be called saboteur. Chris Second, is that the Biafra you want to see? Or you are joining them to destroy what is left of us? If they ask you to uh, take care of people, take care of people. When I make me African rep, audio one, they use me, I just they look all of them. Criminals. This is in the Kano Junior Brother. He's the vice president of Biafra. Mad people. And you want international community to listen to you. Radio Biafra no reach them broadcast again. Now they come to the studio of Biafra Prophet. Master of all master. The one that keep Buhar. The one that said in the kingdom of pregnant one thousand gay, be listening to their lies. People to go and do something else. It's your job assigned to you. That is what we have to do. And the way these things, they are creating problems left and right. People will think that there is problem in Africa. There's no problem in Africa. Not at all. Because most of them are gossiping. In a manner that nobody can understand. The issues and what is happening in USA today, I want to tell you, it's about three people, three women. These are the problems. How can you be running an account that is meant for the people? You are the only sole signatory to it. If you are being asked, to put other financial officers, including the head of finance worldwide, Madam Nanya. You add her by 12 noon, before five minutes after 12, you remove her. You, you are running an account that belongs to everybody. You are the sole signatory. But who is in Nandekano giving account? Okay, Nandekano is the spirit signatory of our, all our life. With his sister Nenayanya. And you, his brother. Madam Oyibo case, we know already. It's a matter of time. Why are you should be soon? Unuke joy on no more no. People are beginning to wake up. People are beginning to know the truth. Contribute money for transmit and then I and the canon group of company. Contribute money to take care of people with that. Nen Ianya sit on it. Contribute money to feed widows. Nen Ianya sit on it. Contribute money to do anything. Nen Ianya sit on it. Anyone in Nen Ianya does not have access to. You are a saboteur. You are a criminal. Hardened criminal. I want Zurumba. Why is Nen Ianya not taking uh, Zurumba and Nwoke uh, to court? Now this audio is very long. Let me just try and ignore it so that you hear the owners, the family group of company, family business. And these people are telling me United Nations will listen to you. And do you have account? No, it doesn't happen that way. Instructions have been given. Shut down that account. That is the instruction. And those of them who are in the position to say that, refuse to say it. And that is why these people are moving around talking nonsense. They write petitions left and right like idiots. People who can't reason. 
causing panic because of their own selfish interest. Madam Rita Eze, alias Oyibo, she is the only secretary to attack her. Yes. And the other woman there, I don't know what she is being called. She is writing petition. Maybe her own madness is to write a petition. Nelly. Full of fable. Yes. She's accusing everybody. And those people she's accusing are the people you can work with at any given point in time. They accuse me of the same thing. I don't know what they're talking about. I do what I'm supposed to do. This is not the first time. We've had this incident as far back as 2015. The same thing repeated itself. And those of them who are in position today were part of the conspiracies as well. And I believe it by this time they ought to have changed from that stupid ideas. Yes. And that is what they're still speaking today. We should caution all of them. They should be cautioned. The account should be shut down. That was the instruction. And to be handed over to the new account. The North American Continental is going to open. That will involve so many signatories to the account. You and see. this is the only way it can function. Yes. They the woman is in charge with Mrs. Sanya. She is the head of finance. The person you are hearing, he say, he say, he's in the She is number one and no other person. Good. And why are our people making fool of themselves? You leave your position, you go and be working, you be talking about finance. Is that your job? The answer is no. They are the ones encouraging these people, and that's why they are doing all this process. Yes. I have seen this type of thing before. And I wouldn't want it to repeat itself again. Yes. The IPO with the devil are fighting for today. It's not about the canals. We have sacrificed everything anybody could sacrifice. Yes, yes they sacrifice this our hotel. They sacrifice our private jet. We are close of one million. And then the Nanya is there then yes, yes. Just like when fake prophet is giving prophecy, you hear those choristers say, Oh, mama, 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 oh, rubu, rubu, rubu. Now the canal junior brother, Kai Kai man, is giving prophecy, prophetic utterance. And in the Nanya is there saying, Oh, rubu, rubu, rubu. Yes, hey, the Lord say it, hallelujah. Hey, the Lord say it. Let's listen to Nenayanya. Go online, it is there. I respond to emails. I convey the negative things. Uh, and a few clips from here, it will. Nenayanya will take over. Criminal says, I don't know why Nelly of Webu always speaks on the Nenayanya. But I'm not surprised because she's doing the work of her husband. Yes. So that is the thing. Now you are free. And uh, I want to make it definitely. categorically clear yes. that there is nothing like uh, our leaders are camped. Yes. We need to go with our camp. Who there is no account. You? He uses solo money to go account. That now. This is our leaders yeah. account. That is wrong. He cannot get account. Now the canal cannot get account because he's, he know what will meet him very soon. You can't solo money go now. Now the canal uses his account for money laundry. Have I been to UK? No. But as Solomon Ebo now, in the Canada, I have accounts and on the catch Mugu. Everybody will know you people for who you are. Look at them, family business. Nenayanya is in the Kano auntie. The one yapping and giving you order and instruction is in the Kano junior brother. Where are our company member? Junior brother, junior sisters, they are here selling us out on ground. Where is Basila Kowara? You people here, it's not condemning Nelly or Shebu. He's a child of Satan. Nenanya, you are a child of uh, uh, heaven. Then these are the people you go, who are going to talk to the United Nations. These are the people. Biafra never come. You sit on everybody's head. You talk to all everybody anyhow. Rat in the cage, rubbish in the cage, and a whole professor Jofo. He's going to say, leave that thing on the camera. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna. Talk about the killing of our people and move on. You people don't know what is playing out, but you will know. And that is why I say I have to say something because for them to bring in our leader, that is the heart of the whole thing for me. 
there is no account and there is no account that our leader has signature there. It's a very big thought. So please, this is all lies. They just want to use it to promote themselves. And I'm sure if our leader hears it, he will be really close with them. Well, Nelly has been much about me <laughs> since February, and our leader cautioned her. And on the 23rd of March, she actually wrote a letter of apology. I have it here. She wrote it and signed, where she apologized. I just want to read one or two lines, please. I will leave there for now. That is in Nayanya. Very soon, nobody to blackmail again. They will start blackmailing themselves. That is how it's going to end for them. Because they have murdered sleep. They cannot go to bed. The fire already is meeting all of them. That is how they are saying, hey, wait. now they cannot ask us to unite. You have to do you need you. All this rubbish is happening. It has negative in fact on the image of the people of Biafra within the international community. A lot of things is wrong. You need a government to checkmate all these things. You need a government to make most of the impl impl implementation. You need a government and these are the things the Biafra de facto customary government are, are working hard on. And of course this week maybe we're going to take our time to review some of the activities of the de facto customary government where everybody become relevant, where everybody have a say, where every component member make their own input, where issues that have been neglected in time past, we begin to review them. Meanwhile, the most important thing is the Biafran people to get themselves back. I will stop here at this moment. Do not forget our topic this evening which simply said uh, the interim parliament of the government of Biafra is a tool of governance that must be deployed if we truly want to go home. And of course, tomorrow we'll continue second edition of it as there is so much to review. We cannot deceive ourselves because in the end, to all his own, if you are a gatekeeper, watch over that gate. If you are a timekeeper, be punctual. And if you are part of the implementation or initiators, do your job. Anybody coming out, it doesn't matter how high you are, you will disgrace yourself. Evidence abound. What Igbo Congress, you go back and see how they can build political strength within the Biafran region. And let's redefine our life. You people should stop deceiving yourself. By now, Hanezin Dibu. By now, World Dibu Congress. Among other appears body who have been able to attend to a particular statue globally, you should focus on the things that can build and not all this rubbish. Behaving like Aburu. It won't help. It won't help. We all know this truth. We all know what acts us as a people. Go and work on these things. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Or send your children. Let them come. We'll go to Abuja and protest on 26. And of course, at this moment, our lines are open. You are free to call in and make your contribution. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. 070-815-456-42. I repeat again, our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. And our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971 is our direct line. Be free to call in and make your contribution. It doesn't matter what you have to see. But our message is going out there, and uh, the people are receiving it. And uh, with time, everybody will come in terms. They know what is really going on. And then we can be able to put our energy and resources together and give it a hit, a push, once and for all time. And of course, I would remind us, those of you in Port Harcourt, 
from uh, some part of Igirita, Rukoku, of course, down to Rumo Domania, Rumo Kuru, all the way to Rumo La Aziz, Rumo Rusi, Rumo Kuta, Wimpi, and uh, its environ. You can get Biafra Human Right and Freedom Radio Station on FM. Of course, what effort is being made to make sure it gets across every nook and cranny of Biafra land. And those of you in Anambra State, from Obawosa to Zini Junction and its environ in Delta State, and of course from Onecha, Obaru, Aziz, Tretre, um, Bo, Aziz, you can get Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station on FM. You can get us on our app, you can get us on Simple Radio, we are on satellite. And of course, everything we need to do to make sure our people get the right information and are coordinated to act properly and adequately is being put in place the lines are open and uh, you are free to call in and make your contribution if for any reason you cannot assess my studio line you are free to call in through my private whatsapp or any other social media platform i will be back in a minute Can you hear me, sir? I can, my reverend and uh, D. Oba Onyibe. <laughs> Since you told me the meaning of <laughs> D. Oba, I feel like a chicken. <laughs> Anytime you call D. Oba, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Intuition on the on the diaba and diaba. I can tell you, if you go back and recite the history, you may find out that the, the your progenitors may have um, looked at the action of that diaba before they decided to, you know, re, you know, use it to, in reflection of a male child. Yes. Or, uh, or yeah. Yeah, very thank well. you very much, my brother. Welcome, sir. I, I thank you so much for what you're doing for beer friends, and uh, I can't thank you enough. And I thank you for having me today. I will first of all uh, thank God Almighty for where He has brought us to, and continue to appreciate Him for what He's yet to do, because I am pretty sure that God is going to find a way to deliver our people. And that has been my prayers. My concern is the delay that we are having in putting ourselves together, in coming together and listen to the word of God. Of course, he says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. He didn't say Britain shall set you free, or United States. <laughs> he didn't say that. Uh, he didn't ask any tribe or the Israelis to come and set you through. Uh, well, after all, we have read about the Israelis. Uh, uh, they are going back in 1948. We see how they work. They had this similar thing, but I, I don't think they have come in this form that we are seeing right now. But they uh, a kind of conflict among the people, uh, but finally, uh, because it was the due time, oh. uh, the issue of Biafra, and I would say 
Good afternoon from here to Obia, friends, and all of our freedom. This is your brother, Bidio, being once again from Los Angeles. Uh, I can, what you have said, so many, and I've asked you so many times, please, take it you know, bit by bit so we can, <laughs> we can progress. Because when you bring a lot of information, then, you know, it's really hard for us to see where to, uh, uh, you know, uh, follow up or piggyback um, on that day. So please, my brother, you are doing a great job with a lot of information to share. But let's break it in segments uh, because you have seen the population we are dealing with, and this population needs to be fed with with uh, milk, not not meat yet, because we got to reorient our people. I uh, understand. That's and what I, it, I, I will. Yeah. I will work on that. Thank you for yeah, thank you very much, my brother. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, of course, everyone we know that from the day one of this inception of this broadcast, we have called on all people, particularly beer friends. And all non-beer friends are like people who say they don't want to be identified with beer friends, but they want to answer whatever name or whatever nation they want. To. There are so many of us who are lumped up in that enclave call Nigeria. This platform belongs to you. There's no reason for you not to call in. If you're a leader of any of these organizations, pro-peace, pro-independent, pro-whatever you call yourself, this platform belongs to you. Please call this platform and let us know how we can work with you. Okay, this is not just for Dear friends, there are so many of us, even in the midst of this evil, and what is more important to some of us is division, continuous division, and yet we are all suffering it. So we encourage you to call in. This platform you can reach um, uh, by calling on the program. He has numbers that he calls out here. Please make contact with him. If you're a leader of a group, even if you're not a beer friend, you can make contact. You can come through this uh, uh, platform to get to the head of uh, Biafra, uh, the factory government of Biafra, uh, who is the uh, Sari uh, you, you can do that. Okay, so please, we are encouraging anybody. Remember, it's in, in his maiden broadcast. He said, he, he, he said, he humbled himself. He said he doesn't know how they appointed him to supervise this uh, uh, coming together. Okay. And he acknowledged that some of you out there are more knowledgeable than him. So he's now saying that he knows everything. It's just that we have to have a meeting point. And this is what it is. It doesn't matter what organization you belong to. Again, Okuyon Walker have broadcasts on Monday nights or Tuesday nights, but particularly on Saturdays afternoon. Right now, inconsistent um, on a daily basis. Um, our brother cheated. I just started yesterday, and I anticipated. Uh, look forward for him this morning, but I don't know. Um, we know we are all busy. Everybody is busy wherever we are scattered in this world. That's why every time you put in this thing is so much appreciated. Okay, you can make contact here. You can follow up with UGMF4. Um, and in my page is there. In, inbox me so that I can direct you where to go. I don't want to give up my number on the phone, on, on this platform, I'm sorry. We have uh, Okom Paul comes here all the time, and he gives us this information, okay? We have other people come here and give us their information on how to make contact. And I encourage all other uh, uh, administrators in, I think um, in South in Africa and other places, 
to make it a point of duty to come on this platform. If you didn't say any other thing, just say greetings to be our friends and give your number out for people to call because we cannot be talking about coming together, but there's no uh, resource, there's no uh, uh, numbers provided to do that. Okay, I also want to particularly call on people in diaspora, particularly here in the United States. It, it breaks my heart that all these years we have made these calls for all these years. To correct it instead of. Uh, uh, correction we became saboteurs yeah it's okay we can be saboteur for a while but what we are not going to tolerate is one person hijacking the issue of biafra because one person cannot do this thing for god's sake okay if anybody is telling you now that he's moses ask him if does he mean that moses does not have people around him Moses has Joshua and Caleb are standing there. Miriam was there, a woman, plus the elders and other people who the Bible before, did not mention. Before their name. Moses started, he complained of his weakness. And God said, Don't of worry. Course. Your brother Aaron will speak for you. We Moses speak. moved on and, uh, and saw Caleb, a progressive minded individual, who was later joined. Uh, uh, by Joshua rather, then Caleb followed up with Joshua. These two people made appointment for representative from the 12th tribe of Israel. And the okay. moment they were able to organize themselves and cross into the wilderness, Jethro, the father-in-law of Moses, advised him to appoint 21 yeah. elders. 121 yeah. elders. Which he did. Okay. 121 elders. Plus 12 youth who are in charge of the affairs of each tribe is that not about 143 uh, people working right. for him or and, administrator uh, and then you have uh, 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 the the priest uh, the levites who are almost overseeing every activities of moses whether those okay. responsible for the inner court the outer court they were people working everywhere and so moses working. just have to manage issues that they cannot handle and come to think about oh. it, after Moses came down from the mountain where he went to collect the Ten Commandments, it is on record that the people could not look at his face again because he blew. So he has to no cover point. his face. Which means almost about 80 years of Moses' ministry, nobody had access to him one-on-one -on -one except few individuals. If he didn't have it's people, not. It doesn't work that uh, way now. Uh, brother, if it do you people. remember do you do you remember that this same thing this same thing i said to nandi kano the day i told him my brother what differentiates me and you is your role in this project but you are no more I love Biafra. It's just your role. Okay, and then Nanya started running her mouth about sacrifice. You know, I don't know why they want to put unnecessary thing to I mean you claiming you sacrifice, you are still alive. It's just a lot of what Biafra about who those who have died? The, the people have huh? died. That's what I'm saying, my brother. And these people that died. Honestly speaking, in their hearts, in their forwardness, in everything that they did was because they said there is no going back to this project. Okay, so this is what I advise him. And I said, you know, the benefits of not mumbo jumboing, because that's not my word. I always tell him, stop mumbo jumbo. Is by the time people will get to you as leader of this project, they must have been filtered. But guess what? He's a son of God. From El a son of Eloha and Elohim. Not even God that I know. Because the God that I know is an old God.
everything. If anybody calls him from United States and he thinks the person can give him two thousand dollars, he will talk, start talking to the person. And I always tell him, do you think if you come to the United States and something happens to you, do you think the friends will forgive me? Okay, stop doing this thing. When people call you from United States, refer them because they can get your number anyhow. But you gotta refer them by the time they go through from the city coordinator to the state coordinator from from the to the national coordinator, then something may have dropped from them and we will know who they are. But he doesn't listen. There was an incident here when he visited Los Angeles here, 2019. A man that came to my to a meeting we were holding when he was in jail came you know, in 2019, and the man came to our meeting and promised heaven and hell. And we waited for him. We didn't see him again. My brother, one morning I walked into the hotel room where we, you know, rented for him here. And I saw the man in there with his wife again. And I was so shocked to see the man. The man was repeating exactly what he told me almost a year ago while Nandi Ken was in jail. And after the man left, I said to him, no, I, in front of him, I said to the man, I know you. And the man was like, why do you know me? I said, I know you. But anyway, let me not go into the thing. Because it's just to let people know what is the issue. Why why it has gotten to this point, I will kill you. I will slap you. When you cannot come home, I will, will kill you. It's because we told him the right thing. And today, they are talking about uh, walk, uh, let's walk in together. When you already messed up the whole thing, who are you walking together with? Okay, so my brother, be our friends. Or non be our friends, if you want freedom, call. Let us do the deals that we're supposed to do. Let us stop all this creation of groups. You know what we do now in the United States? So many groups sharing, copying and writing and arguing with one another. Th these are men. They call themselves men. I hope they are men. But this is what we are doing. Okay? We have been making calls. There's no kind of collaboration. People think you can do it on your own. You cannot. You got to begin from... Uh, we need to start from afresh. We need to start from our fresh, get ourselves together. And by the way, there's no way you can sit indoors and expect this thing to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We already know that the people at back home, for whatever reason, they have chosen to be working with the, the uh, slave masters or the people that are killing us. We come here, we ask them so many questions, they have not provided an answer. So I believe that it's the people abroad, people in diaspora, that can do this work. But we are not doing this work or threatening people. We are not going to behead nobody. But we're going to show a better, a kind of a proof that we know what we are doing. First of all, we must organize ourselves just like I always remember what Buhari said. He said, let them go and organize themselves first of all. Then we'll give them a state, inside state. I mean, how many years ago? 2015. He said this thing. Up till now, we have not. Has changed oh, just a few months ago that we left that we are crying it's happening now i'm directing you to go and meet okoro the, to start paying money to him and it, it, is it not last week that the spirit of the lord put in my mouth to speak on the wickedness of that man the wickedness of dr okoro that was Nandi Kano has called me here twice on two separate occasions and said, come on the air and dismiss this idiot. And I told him for what? He said, people say, that, I said, none of those people telling you those things have complained to me. 
so I'm not going to fire him. He said, yes, I said, yes. I'm not going to fire him until somebody makes complaining as appropriate and bring him forward and tell him right in my face that, Okoro, we are before my Soviet because of this thing you are doing. Then I can do something. That old disoriented man betrayed the efforts. And today he's opening a new account. Because if he has stood his ground with the discussion we had about stopping and the holding our money on hold until there is a change as far as removing all these charlatans that say they are DOS, all these criminals that say they are DOS, who does not know they are right from wrong, who cannot advise and they can as appropriate based on their level of service in IPOB. But Okoro preferred to betray me and stab me on the path. And today he's calling for account. Did I not tell you that the woman they call Oibo, Nandi Kenu purposely presented her as, a, as an angel, that she donated 100,000 just to scam us? After a few months, they asked that every account goes to her. I said, well, what's my own? As long as everything is going well, she now controls the money. Today, we are hearing that she's part of the <laughs> accomplices. She's part of all these people that they are part of uh, the gossip going on. We must get it together. We must get it right before we go home. And just what you said about the World Evil Congress, it's a, it's a shame. I keep saying it, it's a shame that these men will fall to this ludicrousness. The uh, provost calls me here. Uh, we want to be a part of what you guys are doing, but we want to stay on the political side. I said, my brother, it's okay, but you're going to go. <laughs> you see me? You Don't run me over. I said, but you are president. You are chairman, whatever you call it in what you both. Has a man the cannon's phone. Why don't you call him? So he can arrange this thing. Why are you calling me? You, the PRO. Meanwhile, your president is in contact with him and the cannon. Why don't you call him so we can all have a meeting? And I agree. And he was uh, coming every week. Oh, what did you say? You need to put us in view. As I said, no, it doesn't work that way. Let your president call him. Because they know how to jump fence. And the, could you believe that since this uh, saga began, he never called me again. But all they're doing coming out and ready oh we are supporting esn we are supporting we are praying for no government see where you guys ended up and you are going back to un to start uh, <laughs> calling on un in new york who oh, help us so oh, they are killing us so oh. i thought you guys were ready you know it's a shame that those men will succumb or or be cowed into this foolishness but anyway what can we say that we will call on them if one understand what is going on how to approach these issues we must all work together and they can it's just a gifted orator it's nothing else nothing on his brain he doesn't have a com he doesn't have a planning brain he doesn't he doesn't have wisdom that it takes for their friends to go home he doesn't have it in my own evaluation, he's empty. He just knows how to talk, which would have been his portion. We would have been paying him to be talking now, past my but he, with limitation, with scripts that he is going to be announcing. So our people need to rise up and get up and come together. Come together, people. The any time you delay is is even dangerous. Dr. Badaya, I have told you that 2022, these people are going to start a war. Few, a week, few weeks ago, <laughs> they delivered, Americans delivered them because Trump is no longer there. They delivered by sending the Tokano aircraft on their transit to Nigeria now. Guess who they are going to use it for? If you know how, the, how this Tokano is equipped, 
my brother, when this simple starts, <laughs> you are not going to Dr. Bayraya have told you they are going to start this war, the final onslaught in 2022. But you guys are here worshipping somebody. Nobody is coming together to do the bidding, to do what we're supposed to do. By the way, I want to use this moment to pray for the orat that to ask God to continue to bless President Trump for these four years that he held his support down. A lot of you don't know what he did for us, but uh, people can run out their mouth. Even some some clowns here in Los Angeles are running their mouth and talking garbage about Trump, President Trump. Okay, my brother, there's so many things like I told you. Please make it short so we can take it chunk by chunk. Let me step aside and allow other people to make their contribution. But other than that, I will ask their friends. You must live by three standards. One is stability. Secondly, you must tell yourself the truth. Thirdly, you must humble yourself. That's the only key to be afraid. Thank you very much, my reverend. May God continue to bless you and your household. All hell be afraid. All hell be afraid. Thank, Thank you, my brother. Very much. And that is Mazi Obidi Obienu. Of course, like he has said, uh, you may not be able to Grab the whole scoop of everything that we are seeing, everything that you are going to see. But the truth cannot be overemphasized. Without government in place, internal as well as external, my brother, there is a lot at stake. Most of our people are still living in the past, they don't even understand. At this moment, I'm joined by Dr. Okado. Can you hear me, sir? Good evening from here. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, um, Dr. Okado. And uh, my good to Ed Daobieno, too. And uh, I express my gratitude and wishes to all our good listeners. I'm happy for you to have me again. Well, it has been an intense evening. I had the opportunity to listen to your remarks and uh, expositions. That's wonderful. And then uh, I should say more good to you. It has not been easy. When, when, we, when we have uh, elders and noblemen like you as our guide, it's almost impossible to make mistakes, sir. Go ahead. But don't worry, you're too much to be sincere. You're well, too, you you you're people too much. are the one who are, who have taught us. And uh, there's so much. In fact, I would say your life is an epistle to those of us who understand. All of you. I will share your Thank creativity. You, more grace to everyone. May God continue to strengthen you. Well, uh, I, I had a... Uh, Professor Anthony Joffo, because I feel that uh, I can speak to about him or to him at a quorums. Though I am not here, maybe to compete or what. But the point is that uh, uh, from all uh, his uh, manifestations, you can see that he is the most distressful chairman of the World Congress that we have ever witnessed. I am saying this because uh, about more than 10 years before he came in as the current president, I've been invited by the World Ibo Congress under the auspices of uh, Nzejo Eto. That should be around 2012 or 2013. I don't know precisely. But what I mean is that uh, We've known the uh, World Ibo Congress and we have distinguished World Ibo Congress for its pragmatism, both uh, in the Nigerian political affairs and Ibo matters. But uh, really, this uh, present Professor Jopo is a very big disgrace to the whole situation. I understand that he's a microbiologist. It would have been better for him to be in the lab 
than uh, all this distress he is uh, displaying every day. In the sense that I remember when we were in the legislative chamber, one of the problems legislators have, no matter your caliber or your profession, when you come to the house, is meeting up with the challenges. So what I mean is that uh, being the chairman of the World Report Congress, he should know that is a responsibility that helps much. But uh, the display he has uh, shown all these years uh, is very, very shameful. And uh, it's being catastrophic, not only to the image of the World Ibo Congress, but also to the people of uh, Biafra, you know. Because he has been getting it very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. Uh, he has reduced himself to the level of being cowed. That's very, very pathetic. Well, uh, as I said, I know when uh, personalities like that of Mr. Joe Eto, an engineer, you know, when he was there, many of them, and uh, remember that World Ibo Congress have produced also, I mean, non personalities, both for the Nigerian authority who later when they traveled home became a minister. So what I mean is an organization, but uh, I think uh, this professor Jeffrey has, uh, has caused a very big damage. He has caused a very big damage because uh, he wasn't able to, he wasn't able to coordinate, to analyze. He was uh, something to what he doesn't know and didn't have time or the humility to study and understand very well how it goes. So it's quite very, very pathetic. So what I am trying to say is that uh, let him continue. The earlier he starts to be resolved, the better it will be for him because uh, uh, his uh, constant exposure is a continual disgrace. He should understand that. I wish that I, he is listening now and I could have uh, the opportunity to have this discussion directly face to face to him. I take all ranks, he knows that. At any level, he knows that I can address him. So it would have been nice, you know, that I let him know that. Well, because why I'm saying this is that you know that men that matter and the leaders of Reput in Biafra land Persons like the head of the Biafran de facto government and father of the nation, I'm referring to Asari Dokuban or Azurike. You see how articulate and intelligent they have been all this time. And there are men that can make things happen. But you can see that's the leader, that's the quality of leadership. There are men that can make things happen. You see how articulate, how how prudent they have been, and you know, they, I mean, they are, uh, we are very very proud of them to be sincere. So, but what I am trying to say is that uh, I am of the feeling that we shouldn't be dissipating much energy in most of these peripheral issues. Because I feel that uh, what is required of us right now is uh, is uh, visible actions, actions that will speak more than words. But uh, I think the guarantee for those actions is that we must assure their friends that uh, their friends they must get that we must restore this nation cost it what it costs. I am very, very convinced that we can do it. As I continue saying, it's disgraceful and it looks stupid that our forefathers of Republican leaders took three years and achieved and made an immense achievement. Britain currency established uh, diplomatic relationships 
a lot of things. That's uh, a formidable uh, governmental uh, uh, body within a, 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 a glimpse of three years. And notwithstanding that they were faced with a belly challenge, they were at the same time trying to defend our people. And they made all this tremendous achievement. And unfortunately, we find ourselves in the hands of the charlatans and fosters who for the past 10 years has been dribbling noble and humble uh, their friend citizens who out of their desperation and love for their beloved nation, Biafra, they were taken for they were taken for a ride and being disgraced up and down. So what I'm trying to say just to summarize the time we are facing is particular. As I've continued repeating, it's particular, but uh, all said and done, it has been analyzed. In a nutshell, the situation we are facing is this. There is a self-inflicted damage by an abstract and uh, I don't know what to use, but there's a self-inflicted damage. And uh, from a uh, paramedical study that I know, self-infliction is an index of mental deviation. When any human beings can consciously or consciously inflict harm, to him or herself, that person has a mental deviation. So there's a situation of that nature now. We have to recognize that. And we know the treatment that should be given to it. The one that is so dear to us now, the one that is so dear to us, is that we risk, we risk this millennial reality, we risk denting it. And uh, as I said before, all hands must be on deck. We must salvage the image of Biafra. This is the what is in jeopardy now, more than any other thing. Because we, we are witnessing and seeing disgraceful actors and the uh, charlatans that makes one to feel a uh, mouse there. So what I am trying to say now is that we almost be very, very well-oriented and concentrate on the primary scope and priority, which is to save Nigeria, uh, to save the Afro, sorry, please. And savage of Biafra means finally restoring this wonderful nation to our beloved people or citizens of Biafra. So, in a nutshell, a lot of distractions are bound and we are witnessing them. But we have to, at this time, it's important that while we move along, uh, we must continue also to emulate our leaders that matter. In this case, I'm referring to Mefo, Asari Dokubo, uh, uh, Rafa Wazurik, and many others, Obienu. And then you are doing your job very well. We, we don't have to get distracted is important as i said earlier on it's a very particular time so it's because of this uh, professor antonio for that because to tell you the sincere truth not that i am 
with things that are on my table i don't have much time maybe to participate as i do before but it's because of the interesting topic you raised today i said that i should participate so all i should uh, wish you and assure Bia francis that uh, uh, and the unfortunate thing that that is facing us now is that we have enemy abound within us and enemy external enemies so now it's twofold we must be very very attentive and be dedicated but i think god willing very soon and without much ranting of lies and uh, deceit therefore will be restored so once more i express my gratitude to god born in pain and uh, i should say that may god continue to strengthen you and thank you for having me that's what i have this morning. thank you very much thank you very much sir for joining this program this evening and of course, as always, we will continue. Call on the line, can you hear me? Call on the line. Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Hello. Um, um, I want to tell you people that you people are wasting your time. What yes. Place. Yes. Uh, you are wasting but your time. You don't you have name. Don't you have name? Tell us your name. You so are calculating that the You current. don't what have you name. Doing? If you don't have name, you get out. You, are, you don't have name. This is human radio, not animal radio. So when you come, you tell us your name. Look at you. You, this kind of person, want to be in the same country with me. And I want to tell you, you people are castigating and the can and the can we say criminal. We are just telling you the truth. You can see them now. Anyway, Nigeria refused uh, Britain from signing document to take over now the canoe case. Are you people not hallucinating? I thought Britain was evil. I thought Britain was evil. Look at how you people are fooling yourselves and you want to drag us inside. Britain is evil. Record for you. I am George Onyibi. Who are you? Janja weed, according to Nandekano. Yes, yes, I'm telling you, yes, yes. you forgot I control this place. I can lower your volume. You'll be shouting on your own. Go to Radio uh, Biafra Nandekano. And then you yap there. People without shame. People without honor. People who know nothing about dignity. They're not supposed to come here. So, brother, when you call next time, you introduce yourself. Imagine a whole supreme leader who control over 20 million, who decide who live and die. He was picked up like a Greek foul. And all of you, some of you are not ashamed to hide your face. You are, you are still calling to talk, human being. And when you look at people like this, they don't even know anything about IPOB. The same thing we have been complaining internally, pointing this issue to those gangsters called the U.S., China Samuel is jumping up and down. It's going to kill everybody. But we are waiting for you. We told you. I told you. I am your destiny and I'm your doom. Anything you do to me, you will not do it to another person. Did I not tell you people? Criminal. Anyway, now they cannot reject all you well. But he's dying on top of monthly due. How many days is on now? His family are claiming the money already. You think we are in a hurry? We are not in a hurry. We can only get better. Who are they going to call now? Bidi is not there. Umiumio is not there. Iruanya is not there. Who is the next saboteur now? Nenanya is there doing when the, the master prophet is prophesied. Nenanya is shouting. Hallelujah. Urubuseki. My Lord is say it. Amen. Amen. Oh, my kokuego. What since the meander of Nandekano? What have you people been doing? People who could not, who were defending evil, they are coming up. 
and more is coming up. Of course, our lines are still open. When you call, you want to yap, give us your name and your location. Let's know who you are. So we know whether you are a human being or not. We are fighting for the freedom of our people. Ego e dozi obudu. Ego e midi banko. Ego e longwane. Ego e zagota. That is what Nenanya know. The moment you go close to finance, you are a sabotoa. You dare not advise them, you are a sabotoa. When normal human beings are talking, people who are not normal are talking. But I do not blame you. We were the one who fed that monster. He's going to be starved. He's going to be starved. Next leader of Biafra must learn to treat the people with respect. We can't be complaining Nigeria is doing us this and we are doing that to ourselves. All of you roadside agitators who know nothing about this system, you come out, you want to talk. But you, when you are a moron, I don't blame you. Now the kind of family members are busy dragging money. You are using your small data. You have not even eaten. You want to talk. And you are even there and waiting time. You have a waiting time. Who told you? Why did you not just pass by? Look at all of you now. How many people now? Today is good. I have 175. They are doing well. Cri criminals already. Under our watch, nobody will say the next generation. Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Yes, my brother, Tell, um, George, how are you? I'm, I'm, it's, um, Mikey, it's, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm calling fine. from um, Toronto, Canada. You are welcome. Yeah, I'm just calling. I'm good. I'm just calling. Even I wanted to call last week. There was a brother of ours. It's, I, I called in regards to some of these people that will call and say, oh, you people are just wasting your time. You know, that is typical IPOB. They... <laughs> Now, I, love, I love that time wasting. You know? That is just the problem. Now, me, I love it. If it's time wasting today, I continue wasting that time here. So, the, the, the offer. one thing with these people, it's unfortunate that people cannot decode these guys. They are not hard to decode. They cannot achieve Biafra for how many years now? So, they make excuses like their leader, Amnam De Kano. It's usually how many years now? This is going to 12 years. The same old thing. Seventeen years old. Seventeen years old. It's because it's, it's it's because of what you people are doing. That's why Biafra you are sabotaging Biafra. Everybody is sabotage, sabotage, this and that. And I want to take our mind back. You see this issue of sabotage, sabotage, sabotage. That's now the canon created. If you remembered, there are some of in this past broadcast. You always say. If there is no enemy, I will create one. Indirectly, what he's saying, telling us is, if there is no sabotage, I will create one. He is the one creating all this sabotage. He always says now, it thank in you. his broadcast. Thank you that you brought this one up. The moment he disappeared, look at the member of the gangster called U.S. They start fingering themselves. Look deeply. None of the canon is using somebody among them to upset the balance. To keep all of them in confusion so they will not be able to look into what is on ground and they will be left in the dark until he comes out. All this rancor you are seeing yeah. now is in the canon. He told them what to do already. And I suspect Darlington is the one he's using to fight the prosy war. Go ahead, please. Yes. So these people, they have nothing. Only only foolish people will, be, will believe in these people. They have nothing to offer. It's from one sabotage to the other, sabotage to the other. They've not. Everything is about sabotage, crisis, crisis. What have they achieved? How many years? Nothing. And another thing I called for it was because I was trying to get through. Uh, there was brother of ours. I think it's part of the um, de facto government. I think it's based in, forgetting the name, it's based in Finland. He called you and he was telling you, he was, you know, addressing the DOS that they should stop insulting the de facto customary government who was wicked. They should go and meet, the, you know, liaise with de facto customary government to work and bring out the name they can. That I disagreed with. Totally. I was trying to get through, but I couldn't. The de facto customary government should not have anything to do with IPOB slash DOS or whatever. 
These people have blood on their hands. When you work with this, and going forward, anybody that works with these people, it is, you have what they call accessory to murder. Which means you are part, it's even in the Bible, don't, do not be a partaker of evil. IPOB, DOM, Adam Decano already saw their hands in blood. I don't believe we should have anything to do with these people. And in Adam Decano's life, is not bigger than anybody's life. It's not more important. After all, he's saluting people that is about to die. Me personally, I am saluting him for he's about to die there. I salute him too. For he's about to die in that place that he is. So all this talk of is even if Nam Decano repents, he comes back. I don't even want him to come out of that place. Hi, IK Zoranian. I don't want him to come out of that place. This may not be the position of the de facto customary government or anybody else. It is my own personal position. Because this guy has committed evil. So my brother, I'll keep up the good work and God bless you. And this is just, uh, let me give other people the room to call him. Thank you very much, my brother. And your point are noted. People don't understand. Like you have rightly said, they follow us of another canal. They are, they are mood, they are pattern. They are predictable, in fact. And it is pathetic. Very predictable set of human beings. But what we are looking for is simple. What we want is what we want. There is nothing anybody can do about it. And it is Biafra. The earlier we are sincere to ourselves, the earlier we straighten up to ourselves, the better for all of us. But if some people think they can sit behind and play with all of us, don't worry, we are observing you. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Hello? Yes, good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Good evening from here. I can hear you. Go ahead. Your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Kinsley. I'm calling from Dakar, Senegal. Go ahead, please. <laughs> I will advise you to move away from your radio set. Yes, when you call... You move away from your radio set. You, if you are trying to listen to your voice on your listening device, there is quite a distance, different of time between the, your voice coming out from the listening device and what you are saying. So try to turn down the volume of your radio set, or better still, you move away completely from your listening device. And of course, the lines are still open. Those of you on Facebook, you can get it on Facebook page there. Or you can contact me through my personal private media platform. The WhatsApp line still remains 070815 And the direct line is 081221. Five two nine seven one, and of course we are inching closer to the end of this program and the message is clear a lot have been said a lot is still being said and uh, like dr kato will always see it is time for action and who can initiate this action who can manage this power? Where are the gatekeepers? Where are the timekeepers? Where are the initiators? The government needs to be in place to manage them. And this is eventually what has given birth to the Biafran de facto customary government. You are all encouraged. Every pro Biafran group to look for a way, contact the people, and I can assure you, we will get there. Can you hear me, caller on WhatsApp? 
Uh, good afternoon from the city of New York. This is Mazi Mbadike. Good evening from here, Mazi Mbadike. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Greeting my fellow Biafrans and uh, lovers of freedom. And uh, Biafrans that have our people at heart. My name again is Izuchukuo uh, Koli, the American Administrator, Mobilization Administrator, calling this evening to encourage our people to stay focused and start listening to the instruction coming from Biafran Human Rights Radio. If you are within New York and on Anambra Axis, you can get the frequency on 100.5. If you are within the Igwocha area, 100.5 and other areas are coming by. Mazi, <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny with all the things, all the events of what is happening today. We keep telling our people, if you don't have a government in place, you can't get Biafra. Now we have government in place, we have to work with what we have to avoid foreign countries going to ask Nigeria or the Igbo politicians what's happening in their region because you have a government in place. But when you think, you know, when you address this issue to our people, some people understand it because based on their ignorance, they're trying to, you know, wave it aside. But if you finish running around, you still go back to having a de facto government that we have now, uh, um, Ijele, as, a, you know, as father of the land and uh, Asari, the chairman of the facto government, and everybody that is in place working. What, what most of these ignorant people want is for you to come out every day on the radio. You tell them, we meet this government, we meet that government, like what have happened in the past in IPOB, giving people false hope for something that haven't been accomplished. But thank God that this motion has been set in place. And Omazo Bid is doing a lot on this planet of North America or the Americans. But what happens that our people haven't come out all this time is because of the way the IPOB is operating. With the time, maybe within a couple of months now, you see how fast that our people will get into what is going because this is what they've been waiting for. They will ask you, what plan? Who have you saw him or met? Who is supporting you? What effort did you put in place? Or is it giving people false hope that we get Biafra? But we thank God that um, the people with, you know, Biafra at heart have come thank together and set up this program. And we, I still thank, continue thanking the Mazim for, for this platform. Because if, if it's not this platform, what the action they're taking everybody in biafra land will be a saboteur today right now all of them are confused no leadership nobody are they're gonna take in the instruction from most of them in new york here are saying freedom fighting they don't need a deputy so look at what is happening now 2015 was it like this it wasn't because you have a plan that is working you have a structure that was working at that moment Urania was there he was there and powerful state coordinators all over the world. They mobilize their people, they hit the street. Because in the Western world where we live today, when they see a crowd, they want to know what that crowd is, is, you know, is saying. Even if their media is not covering it, their people will start asking questions. But what most of these people that are doing this, um, if it's not the Mazen Nan, the kind of Biafra is not going to come, I tell them, they're hallucinating. Because Rome wasn't built in a day and it wasn't built by one person. So those are the things we're trying to let our people know. And I'm, I'm trying to tell them today, if you're in Americans and you want to join a moving train, where there's a structure, you need to call this number, 917-346-5419. This is the number you want to call if you're positive in getting Biafra restored. It's not a gossip line. Because if you call this number, if you don't do what you needed to do, I have, we have it out with you. So if you not, don't have Biafra at heart, don't call this number. And you can still go to our website. It's allbiafrans at gmail.com, the website. Allbiafrans at gmail.com. Every donation, question, information you need, go to that platform you will get it and you still living in united states you 
want to make a taxable donation, you can still go to Bia Foundation, uh, Bia 67 Foundation, Bia 67 Foundation at gmail.com. This, this Bia Foundation is at the right hand now. It wasn't the people that took all the money that was in it before. And um, right now, you do it. At the end of the year, you will get your 1099 to put it in your tax if you're living within the United States and you want tax deductible donation to make sure we have our red, red, red relay station all over the Afrian land, not like the one I did before. I raised so much amount of money, but the radio wasn't even speaking in my village anyway. And that's the purpose. We did it at that time, but never delay. It's we go nowhere and we must walk to restore Biafra. I, I will leave you for here for now. Then we we we'll come back at it the next time. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. Of course, that is Maze Mbadike. Men with few words, but guided with actions and principle. These are the people who can actually lead us into Biafra land. And of course, as we are inching closer to the end of this program. I will not fail to appreciate those of you who have called, indigenous people of Funandakano, as well as noble Biafrans, who know the right thing they are supposed to do, and they are very determined to make sure that that thing is done. But then I have another caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Good evening from here. Go ahead. Please. Uh, Frank Obidike Ikenga uh, Palaemo. Uh, I want to thank you again for this uh, strength you renew today. Because I always tell you that you renew your strength every day. So that's a hand of applause for you. And a uh, hand of applause for all the whole Afra and all the whole people in order fighting for the journey of the Afra. And uh, moreover, uh, moreover, the, the factor of my, you know, so I'm greeting everyone, I'm greeting uh, the Afra Nation family, I'm greeting uh, the Bim Masot. I'm greeting the alliance, the African alliance. So I thank everybody, you know, for his effort, which everyone is trying to offer for the restoration of our nation, Biafra. So at this same time, I thank this the federal government because we are waiting for them. We know that they are the people that will to keep what the legislative, the laws we need to uh, to rule this Biafra, to use to govern this Biafra, and to use to fight for the freedom of the Biafra. So I thank them very much, and uh, we, the Biafra, we are still waiting, you know, and for them to launch all the kind of policies that we are going to embark on, and uh, our, our love and all the rest of it. So we are waiting uh, to hear this soon from, uh, from the Biafra and the federal government. So uh, another thing I want to say again, I want to talk about this is a program about the women program, you know. So you know, in this uh, in this our movement now, I always see men, men, you know, coming on to coming to call just a few, just few ladies. I don't know whether one of us, you know, all of us, we don't have like wives or we don't have uh, daughters, you know, that we can still tell them about this baby Afro because if we uh, if we are fighting for something that belongs to us, every hand must be on desk to fight this uh, struggle. So I thank our women that came yesterday. Uh, I thank them a lot. I thank them just that participated yesterday. I thank them a lot for their wisdom and uh, for their heart for the Afra. So I want to encourage all the family all over the whole world to try to engage our family in this movement because uh, every one of them is two together instruments. So please, uh, those that marry, those that have girlfriends, those that have friends, you should tell them about the Afro Nation family. 
Je suis tellement bas de Biafran euh, Alliance. Je suis tellement bas de ce qui est going on à ce temps. Je suis come in and become and the, 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 the architect of this movement. Because we, we are not believing that one person is going to give us this Biafra. We believe in co working that we all will work together to get this Biafra. So I am encouraging every man, every Every every, every uh, husband to tell their wife about this struggle and, and try to make them to become part of this struggle because women we know the kind of power they have and the, the mother of this age, you know. So and uh, uh, we should not forget who we are. Uh, in, uh, in the Biafra women they have created a history when a man has created this sport. You know? And I'm talking about the, the, the 18th, 30th uh, demonstration, you know, about women. So I think our women, they have their own power, they have their own government. And the why I love where we came from is that women always have a seat in the government. We are not the people who want to make women to become in the house only half wife. No, the women in our place, they have. They, they, are, they, they are government on their own. So please, I'm asking every woman, you know, I'm asking every, every, every husband to try to convince his wife and his own daughter into this struggle. Because I know if we are sharing money, if this is money we are sharing, everybody has to bring even the dog to come and take, to come and take this money. So now it never comes to money. So that is why we're not seeing most of our women. We should everyone, everybody to come together so that we can give our own ideas and our own opinion to work out this Biafra. For me, I think the courage of those ladies yesterday, I thank them and I thank them so much. We should keep on uh, spreading this message and make this message to reach to other people. So tonight is my contribution. So my contribution again goes you know, uh, to people that never understood the value really of this uh, platform, you know, the mission of this platform is not as many people are seeing it, but it's, it's, it's a, a thing that you people should keep to this platform and try to understand what we are doing. Because we are a poli we are we are political people, so and in politics in politics that we expect always a criticism. So thank you very much and the God bless all of Biafra. Good night. Okay. Thank, thank you very much, my brother, for joining me this uh, evening. And of course, this is where we draw the curtain for this evening's segment. Tomorrow is another day. We continue into more expository regarding the Biafra de facto customary government. We need to put them in place. Everything must be properly managed because this is a matter of national security. You can watch now the family of Unanda Kano. They set up their master prophet uh, platform. Nena Anya Unanda Kano Anti and Allah. You don't have sense, you must obey. Maybe fine boy is not disposer and the one in police is not available. This is a country we are fighting for. And then you are telling Fulani that they are dominating us. They are in charge. They have hijacked the company. Just ordinary pressure group. You have hijacked everything. Anyway, it is important we continue to expose these things as it's going to help all of us to respect ourselves. And at the end of the day, we can truly deliver a nation, restore a nation where we can all be proud of. Good night and God be with you. Day one. Day one. It's more Mr. Pro. I'm doing it.